Hi, Jess. Thanks for having us out to Boxerwood Gardens. Well, thanks for coming. How did Boxerwood get its name? Well, this area was owned by uh, one of our local pediatricians, Dr. Munger. And when he lived here, he had boxers all the time. Um, and at one point, he actually had 11 boxers. That's a lot of dog. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and he ended up delivering many kids in this area. And now yes. uh, children's education is a primary focus of, of Boxerwood, right? Very much so. Very much so. In fact, um, parents, people that were um, born by Dr. Munger, their children have come through here. They, their children. It's really pretty amazing. That's a wonderful story. Yeah. We're here in the natural play area. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the fun activities that are engaging for kids? Sure, sure. So this space is really based on playing outside like we did when we were children. And we have a mud kitchen because you need to make mud pies. Yes. And we have a tiny house mountain for kids to climb over and learn how to roll down. Just be outdoors in nature, listening to all the birds, being muddy. That's the big thing here is just to be a kid. There are so many birds going on right now. There are. <laughs> it's lovely. And I understand that you work with all the public uh, local school uh, students here in Lexington. Uh, so what kinds we of activities do. do you and what kinds of programs do you engage them with here? We have a very unique partnership with the school systems, starting with the preschoolers and going straight up through high school, where we have actually become part of their curriculum, where their outdoor classroom. So I teach preschoolers to second graders. And that is a job where I want to connect them to the joy and wonder of the natural world and get them to feel that and want to be a part of that. They all uh, grow over the years. So what you've learned in first grade, kindergarten, first grade about the waterways around Boxerwood, you get to learn where it goes and how we can save it, erosion, all of that stuff that builds on top of it throughout the years. We're taking kids to the creeks and we're testing the waters. We're doing the chemicals with them. It's, it's really a, a lifetime of, of uh, natural work that we're doing. How, how enriching and how wonderful that you're able to engage so many kids. Now, what other things, programs do you have that are available for families out here at the gardens? Well, we have our music in the garden, which happens every other Friday in the summertime. We've also had fairy festivals here. Kids just frolicking in their fairy outfits and, and <laughs> building funny. little houses and, and being magical in that way. Another big thing that we do is um, in the fall, we connect with the community and ask them to make carved pumpkins for us. And they bring pumpkins here and we have a pumpkin walk where we light up the garden with jack-o'-lanterns and families can go through. It's really oh, that's amazing at night. You know, it's a different way of seeing of seeing Boxerwood. Yeah. That's wonderful. And yeah. you have so much going on here. And I understand you also have curriculum that happens outside of the gardens. Sure, sure. We do a lot of after school programs. We do trout in the classroom where we also have releases for the for the trout. We do tree plantings. There's just so many things that we do here at Boxerwood and to connect with the community that if you go to our website, boxerwood.org, you'll be surprised. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> well, you clearly have so much going on and we're gonna actually catch up with Ben now and go see some of the gardens right now. Great so idea. thank you so much. So Ben, here we are. We've got beautiful lush gardens here on the property and I understand that you guys are representing different ecosystem types here. What kinds of ecosystems do you have? Yeah, well, it's mostly wooded. It's a mix of exogenous and native species. Uh, we have two springs that feed into this wetland pond, so that's a really wonderful habitat. Uh, we have another uh, runoff fed pond, and we also have an open field that's great bird habitat and represents uh, a meadow ecosystem. Fantastic. You've got some very large trees out here, a dawn redwood, a great oak. Can you tell us a little bit more about the big trees and how they came to be planted out here? Yeah, well, most of the trees were planted starting in the 50s by Dr. Munger, who uh, was the owner of the property at the time. And so he gathered trees from all over the world. Uh, at one time, we had the largest collection of Japanese maples anywhere in the country. Wow. He planted a lot of dogwoods, magnolias, uh, dwarf conifers, crab apples. Those were some of his favorites. Um, you mentioned the Atlas cedar. We have a really nice specimen of that. And Persian ironwood, I think that's one of our more interesting trees. 
I noticed we just passed a beautiful Don Redwood. Can you tell us a little bit more about the story behind how that got here? Yeah, Don Redwood is one of my favorite trees on the property. That's a tree that's found in the fossil record in North America, but it, it seems to have disappeared from North America about 2 million years ago and was thought to be extinct worldwide and then uh, and rediscovered uh, living in a remote valley in China. And from there, it spread back to the rest of the world. So I like to think of it as a native tree that's come back home to Virginia. That's, that's fantastic. It's a great story. It's just an all around great tree. It's also not just the trees. I mean, there's a lot of ground layers that we've got trillium nearby. We've got other spring ephemerals. Uh, yeah, the Virginia bluebells had just come up and uh, we're looking forward. You mentioned trillium, that'll be popping up soon. And so uh, it's an exciting time of year. Yeah. What are your favorite uh, aspect here? I know you've been with Boxerwood for uh, many years here. So what are some of your uh, the special places and the plants you really look forward to? Well, one of my favorite places recently is an area right down here where we have a mix of Don Redwood and um, bald cypress trees. And it's just a really nice, cool, shady spot in the summer. Uh, it's matured quite a bit. Those trees were all planted in the 80s. It's right at the base of a spring. Um, so you hear the flow of the water through there. And it's just, it's created a really small, special ecosystem niche. And I understand you're really big into sustainability efforts. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing here with alternative energy and wastewater? Yeah, uh, well, I mentioned native plants. We have a native plant sanctuary with that focus. We treat our wastewater on site with an innovative wastewater treatment system that uses a constructed wetland. And that's also an educational feature. Just last month, we converted fully to solar power, so we installed a new solar array. Uh, so we're really excited about that too. That's awesome. You also have a lot of sculpture out here. It's just a fun place to be. Why don't you tell us about what uh, some of the pieces that the children and the public kind of gravitate towards? Yeah, well, um, Boxerwood is just, it's a community place. So we actually have pieces of art that sometimes appear overnight from local artists <laughs> who just have something they want to share with the public. Um, I mentioned Dr. Munger, he himself was an artist and other people. So there's still pieces from that time and there's new art popping up all the time. That's awesome. And some of the partners, you guys partner with a lot of different organizations in the Rockbridge and Lexington area. Can you tell us a little bit about some of those that you partner with? We partner with the Master Gardeners. Uh, they come every week and they have a few areas that they tend, especially the, the native plant sanctuary and the pollinator garden. Uh, we partner with the Bird Club and with Master Naturalists. Yeah, so quite a few community partners. That's tremendous. Thank you very much for welcoming us here on this beautiful spring day. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it.